What's going on, my fellow YouTubians? I uh, haven't been here uh, quite some time. I uh, just want to show you guys the uh, recent pickups I've uh, gotten over uh, uh, this month here. Um, haven't had the time to show you guys, so uh, so I had to make some time uh, today to uh, show you guys uh, what I've got so far. Um, and to me, it feels as though that there's a big uh, trend or topic going on on what kind of uh, bullion or what kind of silver coins should people uh, purchase. And to me, I think it's an option of the uh, of an individual um, or what he prefers. Uh, the biggest thing, you know, um, here are other guys telling, you know, on the videos that, you know, if you're buying these numismatic coins or these uh, coins with high premiums, then, you know, you're just doing uh, the wrong moves. And to me, I think that's the wrong answer, you know. Um, there's a lot of guys on here that like um, stacking uh, numismatic coins or low mintage coins at that and others that prefer uh, just bullion at that. Um, so with that being said, I just think uh, um, it, it's up to the individual what he likes to collect, you know. Um, so with that being said, let's uh, get off this topic for a little bit and uh, let me show you guys what I picked up so far. So here we go with the uh, Lunar Series 1. And uh, let me see if I can get this focus here. All right. Is there a hair inside of it? Okay. I have to open that. So this one here is the uh, 2002 uh, Year of the Horse. And these are the uh, highly sought, off, sought after coins. Um, just, you know, they just had, they, they, they just hold their value um, so far for what I've seen. Um, I've been looking on uh, eBay and other uh, Gainesville, Admax, other uh, coin dealers that sell these, and these go for a high premium. And I've noticed that uh, the year of the horse, um, I think it's one of the uh, the highest uh, value coined on there. Uh, oh shoot! I almost dropped that. Sorry about that. My stand here almost gave out. So let's refocus that. Sorry about that. All right. So, let me see. There we go. Much better. Uh, for some reason, yeah, like I said, this one has a higher premium than others. But, and like I said, um, I usually deal with a, a local guy um, that owns his own jewelry shop. And uh, he usually goes to a lot of estate sales or auctions and where he comes up with these coins here. And uh, I've been going to him for quite some time and, you know, just being a regular customer. Um, you seem to find deals like that, you know. So, majority of the time, you don't have to buy bullion stuff from uh, Admax, Gainesville, and stuff like that. Other dealers that uh, sell these coins for uh, high premiums, real expensive, but... Uh, like I said, since I've been going to him, um, I got all these coins here for 35 bucks a piece, which is an amazing steal. Um, like I said, he buys this kind of stuff, especially going to sales, state sales for bottom dollar, you know. So, just real happy to uh, know this type of uh, person to deal with. And hopefully uh, you guys could venture out and do the same thing and... and uh, deal with the local guys you know that uh, you make a bond with so so this is the 2002 year of the horse just in great shape uh, and the mintage for this one um, was uh, 99,632 so and the uh, the maximum mintage was 300,000 but I guess they only sold to declare mintage of uh, that amount so so here's that. So we'll go with the next one. We could go with the uh, 2004 Year of the Monkey. 
just in amazing shape. So, with this one, the uh, 2004, the uh, maximum mintage, I guess that they wanted to put out was 300,000 as well. Um, but the uh, declared mintage of this coin was 105,680. So, so like I said, these coins here tend to have a premium because of the mintage that they only put out. So, so just an amazing piece here. All right, then we go with the uh, 2005 year of the rooster. And this is my uh, Luna series uh, sign for me, which is the uh, the rooster, which is pretty cool. And this one, uh, it's a 2005, and the uh, maximum mintage for these here were 300,000 as well. Um, and the uh, declared mintage was 92,691. So. Lewis Series uh, 1 uh, is a good series to collect for any of you out there that are trying to collect these coins. And I've seen uh, a few of you guys uh, starting to collect the whole series, which is pretty cool. Um, just They just tend to have a high premium than other ones, so which is not bad. So, and Like I said, if you find them cheaper than buying them online, that uh, would be the way to go. So, you know, shop around local pawn shops, uh, yard sales, stuff like that. Uh, you never know which, uh, what people are selling and uh, willing to part with. So that's my word of advice for that. And for the last one, it's the 2009 year of the ox. And this one is what you consider your key date in the series. Um, This one here, um, uh, they, they actually this one did not have a maximum mintage from what I looked up online. So the declared mintage um, um, was fifty two thousand two hundred and sixty seven. So out of all the series in the one ounce coin, uh, this one is your key date here. Um, And that's what the uh, the mintage was. So, so a nice coin here to have. It has his, you know, premium, just like the rest of them. But uh, real nice to uh, to add to the stack. You know, you know, just shopping around, it, it uh, it'll pay out. So, just have, just have to have patience. You know. So that's what I usually normally do with uh, a lot of these coins. You know, with the majority of my coins, you know, I shop around. Um, I hardly sometimes ever deal with uh, local coin dealers online and stuff like that. So, but you never know. Well, the other option, you know, it's uh, eBay is pretty good as well. But uh, you know, I've been hearing a lot of horror stories uh, about people uh, getting fake coins, and you know, that's why they have the uh, protection plan. So. So no worries, you know, you eventually will get your money back. So, so this is that. Um, then the other piece that I picked up was a World War II um, um, pin here, um, which is a marksmanship pin for, uh, I mean, sorry about that, a expert uh, shooting pin that uh, soldiers wear um, when they go to qualify so you get the uh, marksman sharpshooter and expert pin and this one here is the expert pin for a rifle and then you attach the tabs of the courses you go through so you go through grenade um, bayonet um, handgun pistol and other stuff so and the cool thing about this one here is that it's sterling silver so 0.925 so 
just a beautiful piece to have and this is uh, one of the pins that I wore was the expert rifle pin uh, you know being in infantry you gotta be an expert and I know your rifle real well so well this video is getting a little bit long so hopefully you guys enjoy uh, pick up that I've done so far um, and just don't get uh, frustrated out there guys you know uh, shop around uh, uh, it'll pay out and don't let anyone else out there um, tell you guys what to buy and how to buy you know it's whatever it's your comfort level um, with that um, you know it'll be like guys telling me you know not to purchase GI mags you know they're cheap this and that or you know you should only purchase P mags which you know are a little bit more expensive but it's up to a person uh, taste of what they really like so so hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, long do video and uh, keep stacking guys alright take care